FDA now, when we talk about the federal scope of all this, individual states will also have to approve the vaccine before it can be used. Tonight, senior investigator Stephen Stock looks into what California is doing to test the vaccine before releasing it to the public and whether that's going to delay when we can get it. Back in October, Governor Newsom appointed an independent safety review panel to oversee the Fed's work. That committee will only approve using a vaccine here in California if the state experts think it's safe. Tonight, the committee's chairman vows their review of the Fed's work won't make you wait longer to get vaccinated. Uh, we expect very soon to be able to look at the data from what's called phase three studies, um, looking at efficacy and also at safety. Dr. Art Reingold is division head of epidemiology and biostatistics at UC Berkeley, named by Governor Gavin Newsom as chair of the state's independent safety review committee. And we hope be in a position to give a thumbs up, if you will, that, that um, things look good. But obviously we have to wait and see what type of information is presented. Dr. Reingold says his committee may be breaking new ground by having experts from individual states review federal approval of drugs or vaccines. Has this ever been done before to have the states review the process by the feds? So to my knowledge with regard to drugs and vaccines, the answer is no. So if there is a prior example, I don't know of it. Isolating and visiting his daughter in Denver, Dr. Reingold took some time to sit down with us and answer our questions about how the process will work. How long will this take? Will this add extra time? Will we have to wait longer? The quick answer is no. We are very sensitive uh, to the concern that we might delay introduction or availability of the vaccine. Three other western states, Washington, Oregon, and Nevada, have now joined the review committee, which is already looking at the FDA data and test results. Dr. Reingold says the extra safety step is needed because public confidence in federal agencies like the FDA and CDC has been challenged during the pandemic. Uh, the perception certainly is uh, that they've been influenced by political considerations um, and that that has made people concerned. But we're hoping um, that an extra level of review uh, by people who do not work for the federal government um, can be reassuring because having a vaccine doesn't help us at all if people don't take it. As this new vaccine rolls out, Dr. Reingold admits this unprecedented review by individual states over the feds creates a precedent that could be problematic for future drugs and vaccines. You are correct. We, 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 would, we would have to be powerfully moved um, that there's something wrong with the process uh, for us to say something different. Uh, than what the FDA and, and, and CDC are saying. Dr. Reingold points out that scientists created the COVID vaccine very quickly using new gene sequencing technology. But he stresses that no corners are being cut in the clinical trials and reviews. Once the feds and Dr. Reingold's task force do approve a vaccine, those in line should be able to get the first of two expected shots within days, if not hours. I'm Stephen Stock, NBC Bay Area News. Stephen, thank you.